these tests uh, are done based on your risk category, based on the symptoms and local examination findings by the uh, doctor, you can be classified into a low risk patient or a high risk patient for DVT. So, if uh, doctor thinks you are a patient uh, having low risk to develop DVT, then a blood test is ordered that is D dimer blood test. If this D dimer blood test comes negative, that means and you are also uh, a low risk patient. So, low risk plus negative D dimer means there is very less chance that you have DVT. So, there is no need to order any other blood test or any other imaging test. In second case, if either your D dimer test is positive or you are a high risk patient, then you need to undergo additional tests. This additional test, the most common test used is the ultrasound. In ultrasound, what we will see, we will check the, how the blood flow in your affected portion of the body, that is most commonly the leg. So, how is the blood flow in the leg that we will check using the ultrasound. If the flow is not proper and the blood is stagnant there, then we can confidently diagnose deep vein thrombosis. So, in certain situations where we cannot see the veins using ultrasound like the veins located in the pelvis that is the lower part of your abdomen or in the some uh, portions of the abdomen where the ultrasound beams cannot penetrate so that we cannot uh, see the veins situated there. In those situations, we will order CT or MRI preferably uh, with a contrast, intravenous contrast. Contrast is nothing but a dye which will increase the visualization of your blood vessels. So, these are the blood tests uh, and the imaging tests ordered. Also, to know the risk factors, what is the cause that uh, led to development of this uh, deep vein thrombosis, we will do other tests. If the cause is obvious like uh, prolonged immobilization, like long distance travel or blood rest, then there is no need to order other tests. If the cause is not obvious, then we can uh, order other tests like uh, as we discussed uh, to rule out the risk factors like some medical conditions like uh, kidney diseases or heart failure or cancers or any genetic uh, diseases like uh, factor V leading mutation or uh, prothrombin gene mutation. So, these are all the tests that we will uh, order uh, depending upon the uh, risk factors and the situation of the patient.